morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Ready to go? Ready. Okay. Um, and today is uh, the uh, Monday. Good, good morning, everyone. The Monday, uh, August 30th, 2021. That would help. Okay. Uh, the uh, Monday, August thir uh, 30th, 2021, regular meeting of the Cherry Hills Village Art Commission will now come to order at 9.05. Okay. Can you do, do the roll call? Roll call. <coughs> Co-Chair Hall? Here. Here. Co-Chair Schmidt? Yes. Commissioner Anderson? Here. Commissioner Smith? Here. Commissioner Morrow? Here. Commissioner Patterson? Here. Commissioner Moore? Here. <coughs> Okay, uh, we now turn to audience participation period. Is there, there's no one here to participate, right? Okay, so we can move on. Uh, our next order of business is a consent agenda. Does anyone wish to remove anything from the consent agenda? No. No? No. Okay, hearing none, may I have a motion? A motion to accept the minutes from last okay. meeting. A second. Sorry, who, who was that? Uh, Della uh -huh. and then Sarah. Thank you. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. Passes. Thank you. Uh, okay. Unfinished business. We had lots, right? <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right, the first item is the uh, 2021 Sculpture on Loan video. Um, so I think we should discuss uh, how we feel about spending the money to make a video on the Sculpture on Loan. Um, I myself thought Revan spoke really well, and I thought it was a huge shame that Bob Mangle couldn't make it. So since he's still alive and he's very elderly, um, I thought that it would be really interesting actually to do a video Mm -hmm. um, and have him participate since we didn't get him in person. Uh, and that also um, it would be a really nice way uh, for us to uh, encourage visits to the actual sculpture to the local schools because we can say, oh, we have a video. And then the, you know, the students can watch the video and then actually come see the sculpture. So um, I know it's not cheap. <laughs> Do we have Kendall with us? No, I haven't heard. Sorry. No, I haven't heard. I asked if she was going to be in person or needed a conference call number, but I haven't heard from her. Okay. All right. Yeah, because often she joins us by phone. Uh, anyway, because she, she assisted us with the last one. I'm going to bring her. I just think it would be a sad loss not to take advantage of that opportunity. Mm -hmm. And I think, too, maybe... Um, Getting future sculpture, it might be nice to have some kind of backup video that you could send out to other artists to see. Yeah, so we do have, yeah, we have other videos, so we can we add to a, a library. We could create a library yeah. of videos, actually, for also for students to come not only to see this one, mm -hmm. but we can mm -hmm. tell the teachers, oh, we also have videos for the following other pieces. Mm -hmm. We could do like an art visit program or yeah. something. Do we have a cost yeah. estimate on the video? Yeah, I think, it, isn't it in the budget? Laura? Yeah, I think. I did not. I, didn't uh, I think so. Yeah, I think so, too. Yeah. Because we have. <coughs> video and plaque. Video and plaque, 1,500. Yeah. And the plaque is um, a little under 200, so. Right. Yeah. And Kendall assisted us with the video last time. What videos do we have existing? Uh, we have the Gusto video and um, the. Uh, Girls? Sorrels, thank you. Yeah. Right, so we already have two videos. Okay, yeah. yeah, that's great. I think we should do it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I also think it will correct the messaging because a lot of people say that his work is whimsical, which Raven shut down. So I think it'd be nice <laughs> yeah. for people to, to educate hear what his his real agenda is. I agree. Okay. Do we know? Do we have a videographer that we use? Kendall does. Kendall did oh, it. Kendall. Yeah, yeah, she did the last two. Okay. So. Um, oh, and Laura, how do we access those? Because we, you know, maybe we would all like, I've never seen this. They're on the website. Um, They're and on the, the Gusto one is actually, we have a QR code on the plaque. So if you have a QR code reader on your phone, that'll get you to that directly to the page on the website with that video. 
Um, it's the same page as the video with the Searles, but you have to scroll down to find the Searles one. I'm sorry, one more time about the Searles one. Can you send out a link? Is that too much of a pain? No, I can do that. Sure. All right, why don't you send out a link for the Searles video and remind uh, everyone about the QR code, or is there also, wouldn't it be nice to have it all in one place? Can we also have the Searles one on the website, or do we already? Both videos are on the same page on the website. Okay, it's perfect. just the Gusto one is at the top. Also has, a, okay. Yeah, so maybe if you send out a link, everyone can have a look, and then maybe we can also, um, you know, review those videos and maybe have comments on those, things that you want to do more of or less of. I don't remember them myself, so I'm going to watch them. So again. Ha have they been uh, sent out to art departments of schools before, um, or, or do you just sort of count on them maybe checking out the website? To just, be honest, I don't remember. What, what there did we was, do? There was a lot of work done by the commission when the Searles video was produced to get it out to the community. Okay. Um, that I was met with minimal success, I think, as far as the schools, yeah. but yeah. I don't think we did anything particular with the Gusto video. All right. Yeah, that one might be a good idea to kind of get it directly to art departments or art mm -hmm. yeah, different yeah. schools. Later yeah. when we talk about assignments, Laura, mm -hmm. maybe we can come back to this point. I think even... Because um, maybe we could actually assign members of the commission to reach out to a particular school or a particular organization, yeah. Yeah. and then yeah. everyone would just have one... Yeah. You know, so I didn't think the math department on that point. would like the, the I'm sorry, mangled, the math department, you know, might be interested oh. because of all the, you know, geometric and all that. Yeah, yeah. excellent point. Kind of. uh, okay. And I did hear back from Kendall that she needs to call in, so I would need to go set that up if you guys want to pause the meeting for a few minutes. Yes, thank okay. you. I'll be back. I didn't notice the nurse sign that says masks again to come into the building. Oh, no. Yeah. Sorry yeah. about that. So, um, so I think we changed the time to 9 so Kendall could join us, right? Yes. So right. now she's going to make 9, so yeah. maybe we can... It, well, in the, in the notes, I mean, one of the memorandums that we're going to look at, we're mm -hmm. talking about the whole timing of oh. what day. Right. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I think we have different... Some people have school-age children. Yeah. So first thing in the morning is not right. easy. Right. right. And then some people work. Right, Kristen, and I don't know who else is working work still. So, so maybe in the middle of the day is not so great for you guys. I don't know, but we're gonna have that discussion and see where we land yeah. on that. Okay, right. And um, my husband's on the zoning commission, and they always do their meetings after work. And oh, you know, like at six, six thirty. Is that not good? That's dinner time. <laughs> yeah. Well, and all the sports and everything. And sports. Sports. Okay. Yeah. 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 Morning's yeah. better. Morning's Very close better. to bedtime also. That 6.30. <laughs> Very close. <laughs> but I don't know. If it's like, yeah, a little bit. Or maybe we keep it at 9 or 9.30, but a different morning. Or a little bit later at 10, maybe, to give people a little more time to get through the morning rush. Or I don't know. We'll discuss it in a few minutes yeah, when it comes up. I guess so. <clears throat> Depends on Kendall's schedule. Exactly, Kendall's schedule. A new job at this tech company. It's downtown. Um, and I work two days in office and three days from home. So today's my home day, so I'm, I'm fine you know, to check out for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Mondays are just like, you know, I wake up like, oh no. Exactly. <laughs> Not a relaxing way to start the week. <laughs> Scrambling. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> Land speed record. <laughs> I know now that your kids are gone to college, it's... Mm -hmm. I know, so I'm flexible. I, if I'm late in the morning, yes, it's entirely my fault. I can't blame <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can blame it on the pets, but no. Right. No, I can't. So I'm, I'm not, I don't, I'm very flexible. <clears throat> Whatever is in my schedule, I can move around, but we'll see what everyone else, yeah. how everyone else feels about it. Kind of like 9.30. Yeah, 9.30 is better than 9, I think, so that's comfortable. We'll see. Those are always a little tight. I know, yes. I don't know why I had to bring my purse today, so I'm like... Uh -huh. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, it's true, I probably can color coordinate myself if I think deep enough, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Um, so I don't know. My in-laws got their booster shots this morning. Oh, wow. wow. So and they're, they're kind of like first in line. Wow. But I didn't know that they were rolling out the booster shots. So right. Soon. Where, yeah. are they, where do they live? Um, well, they live down in Cherry Creek. Okay, so they're here. Uh -huh. Yeah, so, um, mm -hmm. and they're 
part of UC Health, and so they yep. called them. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, that's all right. That's great. Right, so I mean, so Right. Did they get their first shot in uh, March or early? Um, they got it like the first chance they could get. They're like 71 and um, they got Pfizer. And so I think Pfizer is the only one that's been approved yeah, for, for the, the booster. booster. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. So I got Moderna, so I you know. Too. Yeah. Me too. I'm that. waiting a little longer. I think we're <laughs> mm -hmm. And then are you going to get a flu shot? Um, I don't know. I usually don't get a flu shot. I mean, I'm all for vaccinations. Yeah, I just, yeah. yeah. I never did either, and then I had a horrendous flu one year, so then I said, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll get it. Please enter your conference ID. <clears throat> Please record your name after the tone. When you have finished recording, press pound. Council Chambers. Your current name is. Council Chambers. To keep this name, press 1 to change it to you now. Council Chambers has joined the conference. Okay. So hopefully she'll join, but just a reminder for everyone, you'll need to speak really clearly into your microphone so she can hear you. Okay. Once she joins. Yeah. So once she joins, we can just fill her in on the fact that we want to do the video and guys can remind me if I forgot some of the good comments that we made, but just to let her know that we're very enthusiastic about that project. All right. You know, she says, my kids start time for school is now 9 o'clock a.m., so I will have to join virtually, if at all. So she might not even be able to join. Okay. Hang that up, and I'll email her to email me if she can join. Okay. And then we can try to reconnect. <clears throat> Should give you a minute to do that? Do you need Sorry? a minute to do that? Do you need a minute to email her? No, you her? can go ahead. Okay, okay, fine. Sorry, Laura, I just need the screen back because I don't have a printout of the whole. Oh, okay. Pass that over, please. Dependent on this. <laughs> I think it's just one. <laughs> oh, thanks. Okay. I'll just get to the new business. Okay, so let's move on then. We, we, did we vote? Did we pass a motion to do the Sculpture on Loan video, Laura? No. Okay. Um, you did not. Okay. All right. I move to, to um, create a video for the newest Sculpture on Loan, Wind Song 3. Do I have a second? I second. Okay. And all in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Okay, that passes. Okay. Okay, uh, the next item is a recap of the um, Art Commission's annual event. Um, by the way, Jessica's not here. She's tied up this morning or? Yeah. Okay. Um, she's my numbers. <laughs> I'm sure you can do the numbers too. <laughs> All right. Um, so it looks like in the end we had 35 people attend the event and uh, that we received a total of 6,950 from tickets and donations. So I was just wondering um, if we could uh, break down that amount, because it was a small event. So how do we end up with 6,950? <laughs> we got a lot of, um, well, between the host committee and um, we got several 
Donations? Donations from people who couldn't attend, so I can bring up that. I'm curious about that. The donations? Yeah, yeah, I was, yeah. Absolutely, because I would definitely want to, you know, I have already thanked two couples that donated because they're good friends of mine and they couldn't make it, but I want to make sure that we reach out and thank, oh, yes, um, you know, especially those who donated and didn't even attend, so. The, the ones with zeros in this column just donated, didn't attend. Well, and then some people, like the young, said they were going to attend but didn't make it. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, but there's a spreadsheet here, so those are all the monies that came in. Have we, I think $250 for a couple to come to that is expensive. And I mean, I get it that a lot of people in the neighborhood can afford that, no problem. But like the following night, Kent had a parent party and it was $45 a person. There were 300 people at that party. So I just wonder, I mean, have we ever played with the prices? Do we know? No idea, I would have to ask Ann Palumbus. Yeah. Or Dave, do you know? You've been on the committee a little bit longer. Uh, no, it's always been that way since. Yeah. I mean, I feel like <clears throat> for what you're getting, like that was lovely. Yeah. It was lovely. The music, the food, it was great. But I just feel like it was it was a lot for what it was, you know. Yeah, you're that's right. like gala, you know, get, get borderline gala yeah, pricing. That's true. That's true. I, I feel the same way. I thought it was expensive, and then I wondered if we wanted to like the host committee that they would maybe get five tickets, and then those people would come for free, but then they would be more motivated to donate. Because mm -hmm. um, I would look better if there were more bodies here, mm -hmm. and I then agree. people would kind of feel like they need to give something so then therefore you got even more mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. right that's a good idea yeah, that's okay. right so playing but uh, yeah the play between the number of attendees and the cost per ticket and, mm -hmm. and also building up support which I'm very I yes. totally I'm very keen on doing because I kind of feel between COVID and the fact that so many of us have turned over on the Commission mm -hmm. that we definitely need to build mm -hmm. the grassroots support mm -hmm. for the mm -hmm. Commission Again, mm -hmm. sort yeah. of, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, because of course Anne was there and Closina and a couple of people who have supported and Elaine, people who used to be on the committee on the commission, but right. yeah. Well, and I also feel like that would give us um, a way to call our friends. So you at least call five families, and you know have that conversation. So then the word gets out there because it's all of us times five. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which I did personally for this event. Yeah. I was kind of hoping that everyone would do that, but I know that we also had some conflicts like Cherry Hills, uh, Cherry Creek High School back yeah. to school night and maybe some other back to school nights, and that didn't help. Mm -mm. And how, you know, and I guess we should, that's a good lesson. Like we should check the calendar, you know, um, the school calendars, the, there is a social calendar out there that talks about other events in Denver, mm -hmm. whatever it's called. Right, I mean, like botanical, botanic garden yeah. galas mm -hmm. and other things like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then after Labor Day, because I think people are really getting their kids back to school, getting their schedules in order, so they can kind of breathe after um, Labor Day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think there's a lot of anxiety right now out there about getting started. Maybe we should do a little brainstorming session, like add a half hour to a meeting or something, and yeah. just think how we can jazz it up and yeah. maybe even make yeah. it bigger, like have a band out here or something, mm -hmm. or really like play it up like the movie and have the signs kind of out everywhere mm -hmm. where people can see and maybe have mm -hmm. child care, have kids do some art, mm -hmm. you know, and you know, just kind of make it a little more, you know, dynamic. Well, that's a big, that's a big uh, question, too. Would yeah. we want to make it more of a family event, or do we want to keep it like an adults-only event or something? So mm -hmm. that's a big, completely different yeah, yeah. thing. Well, and kids have you know, sports and stuff after school, but just, just, just talking about sort of making it you know, more yeah, yeah. broad. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, broad in the 
And have have these parties been at, these pe have been in people's houses before? In yeah. the past, they were in people's uh, houses. Yeah. I, mean, I love it here because it celebrates what they have this beautiful building and that beautiful Yeah, now we have there. this park. And right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Really right. nice. Yeah. yeah. But a, people's houses would be a draw, too. Right. We could consider maybe alternating it one yeah. year at a house, one year mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. like maybe or just there. try and get a house. And if we can't, we always have this backup, which is great because right. it's a great, right. great entertaining space. Yeah. On the off years when you're not talking about the sculpture on loan, perhaps, you know, in a house. Right. right. Yeah. Should we make a motion to have a meeting about this, like to have a separate little meeting or at least a time set aside that we could all bring ideas to? Think about should we it? do a working group or should we just use um, our meeting time? I don't know that we need a, a motion exactly, but if you all want to do a separate day and time for a study session, work session kind of thing, as opposed to just talking about it during a regular meeting, then we can try to schedule that with everyone's schedules. And then people can come with their ideas. Yeah, great. And those study sessions are not public, so we'll just have a study they session? They are public. Oh, they it's are just, public. Yeah, okay. they have to be noticed and open to the public. It's just that we don't do meeting minutes for them. Okay, fine. So. Um, okay, is everyone interested in mm -hmm. a study session? Yeah. yeah. Yes. That would be good. So now the question is when? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe after next meeting, the, like you suggest after the meeting. Yeah, uh, right after the meeting? We're here, you know. Yeah, okay, so. and what's the date of the next meeting again, Laura? It'll be Monday, September 27th. 27th, yep. Yeah, okay. 27. Great. I'll be out of the country, but I can make a list of ideas. Okay. I think that's fine. Email that. Okay. Do, I, do we need a motion for that, or we can just... No, that's fine. Okay, okay, fine. So we'll have that. So after the next meeting, we'll do our study session on next year's annual event. Will everyone else be here for that yes. meeting? Yep. Yeah. Okay. okay. Ah, and then um, yes, that that spreadsheet that you gave. Can you circulate it to everybody? And please, if anybody you know wants to wants to thank anyone who who attended the event or donated. That you know, we can uh, make Should sure we that do we do handwritten some. thank yous. I mean, I can do that. Well, a good that. question is: Does the city send out thank you notes ever? We don't have anything printed on city letterhead or anything, right? Um, we do our tax deduction letters that we've sent to everybody, so that has sort of a thank you with it, um, but it's more of a record for their taxes. I think we might have some art commission stationery. Uh huh. Ooh. In the art commission drawer. So if y'all are interested in that, I can. Yes, art dig commission that out. stationery would be nice. Um, uh, do you want to? I guess let us know what how much art commission stationery is available, and we can see if we can yeah, yeah. figure out how to get like out. A handwritten. Okay. That's nice. Maybe. I don't know how many people. Maybe Should we, we split gift it up a little bit? Me. Should we gift them with one of those window things from the art commission? Well, I want to oh, talk about that too, yeah, but I, I yeah, I think we should just say, just thank them and we'll keep that separate from this event. Like I want to keep that fundraising letter, which we may continue in the future if we think oh, it's useful, yeah. separate from the annual event. Good idea, but um, that's my thought. And we'll, when we talk about the letter, we can decide for sure. But I think we should keep it separate personally. Um, Oh, what else? And I would love one of those to send a thank you card to Revan too, because I thought that she did a really good yeah, job she speaking. Did a, she did a terrific job. And um, so I'd like to definitely send her a handwritten yeah. note, and then hopefully when Kendall reaches out to her about the video, she'll be very keen to help us. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll see how that goes. Ready to move on? Uh, yes. Okay. I guess we can move on. Uh, okay. Relocation of the crew pieces. Um, so all of these locations, um, Kendall 
and Mr. Culligan have like selected, right? And and are they they're in here in order of choice? So the first choice for mm -hmm. right here. for the artist and Kendall and the second choice. Mm -hmm. So actually, you know what? Can you go back to the map first? Because I uh, so we're so. So we're here. We're here in the build. Oh, no, no, no. We're in the building right there. Yep. We're in the building. And there's a parking lot. There's a parking lot. This is the pavilion mm -hmm. where the bathrooms are. Um, and this is the pond. I think this was where there was like a bench maybe. And there was that other like cool stone thing around right. this pond. And this is a fishing pier on this side. And this is the gravel parking lot for the equestrian arena. Right. So this this first choice is um, pretty far, you know. Right, back. right. So in terms of being found objects and being sort of, mm -hmm. okay. Does everyone understand it, where that first there? choice is? Over there. Yeah. yeah. Beyond yeah. the pond. Yeah. The, and, and it's right along the road, so you can obviously see it from the road or the yeah. path or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is nice. You can see it from the road. Yeah. I oh. prefer the second choice because they just seem to have such a a boy kind of water feel to me. Um, okay, maybe uh, let's look at the photos as well. Yeah, I was going to say that's a good idea. Okay, so area one is the first choice? Mm hmm Yes. And this is the artist's first choice? Or the yes. Okay. Uh, Kendall work with, yeah. <clears throat> Oh, hold on one second. Let me just. Okay, let me try to get Kendall on the line. <laughs> she's okay, she's good. on. Oh, good. Then she can fill us in on the thinking. Because I agree with you. If it's the artist's first choice, that's something that's yeah, important. Yeah, I would go with the artist's first Yeah. Right, if Kendall is making the evaluation. Yeah. And it's still close to that pond, it seems. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> so let's uh, let's see what she has to say. Please enter your conference ID. Please record your name after the tone. When you have finished recording, press pound. Council Chambers. Your current name is. Council Chambers. To keep this name, press 1. To change it, press Connecting You Now. Council Chambers? Has joined the Hi, conference. Ken Kendall, are you there? I'm here. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Kendall. Hi, Kendall. Hi, everybody. I'm glad you could join us. How long, how much time of yours do we have? Um, I have about, um... 25 minutes. I'm. Uh, I have a meeting at 10. Okay. All right. Um. So just to fill you in on. Um, I couldn't make it down. Um. I. I. Um. I'm unable to make a nine o'clock meeting anymore just because my. My kids. They decided to let them sleep longer. So my kids go to school at nine now instead of eight. So that's. That's the reason. Great. Okay. So then while we have you, I think there's a couple of things and. Well, three things in particular that we want to get, we want to discuss with you. One we've already discussed and the, the commission unanimous, unanimously decided that we would definitely like to do a video for the Mangle piece. Um, okay. We thought that Revan did a great job speaking and that it was also a shame that Bob couldn't make it. Um, okay. So um, we think it's just uh, would be wonderful if we could take advantage of you know Bob still being with us and actually getting in um, and being able to interview him okay um, all right um, do you guys have a budget number in mind we do have an amount in the budget like 1300 right? 1500 I think was it was well, it 15? that's minus minus 200 oh that. minus yeah for the plaque, for the plaque. 200 for the plaque yeah 1300 yeah. 1300 Kendall. Okay. That uh so it might be a little short um but we'll, we'll I'll see what I can do. Yeah, see see what you can do because I think everyone is very enthusiastic about that. So if we need to find a little bit more in the budget, we probably Right. 
would be willing to do that. Yeah, it's just the editing cost to make it look good and sound good. Um, that's it, it's not the filming; it's the uh, it's the actual editing part of it. So um, that's I'll, I'll just um, I'll see what I can do and um, hire my guy who usually is very very um, reasonable and does things for me. <laughs> that. that um, Hopefully he can he can uh, manage that that. Um, great, great. Okay, so we can talk about that again next time. Um, uh, and the other two Is items. Is there a deadline I, for when? Oh, no, I don't think there's a deadline, deadline for that. No. Okay. All right. Just by the end of the year, Sounds so good. we can have it for this year's budget. Oh, it'd be nice to have it by the end of the year because it's in this year's budget. Does it have to be completed? Oh, no problem. I, that's okay. not an issue. I, oh, okay. I just wasn't sure if it needs to be there, like in the next by the next meeting. That was my concern. No. 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 Okay. <clears throat> okay. Then we definitely want to talk to you about the uh, relocation of the crew pieces, which we're in the middle of talking about now, and then of course scheduling, um, uh, changing the regular time of this meeting since it doesn't work for you at all now. Um, so we'll get to that later. Um, okay. And just to give you a quick recap, or at least let you know since you weren't able to attend the event, that Revan really did a wonderful job talking about the piece. She definitely got Good. her mojo going and she started telling stories and really explaining Bob's thinking behind the piece so we could understand the piece so much better in terms of yeah, just everything, good. his inspiration, the color, the, you know, mathematical concepts behind it, all of it. The um, negative space. The <laughs> negative space, right. So that's why, and she said that he had had a fall at the beginning of the week. That he was very keen to attend wow. and then couldn't because he was injured. And so I think that's what, that's what's made all of us even more enthusiastic about the video because we'd love to have yeah. her speak on the video and to get some clips of him, I think that would be terrific. Yeah, no problem. And maybe I can even interview them together. Yeah. Um, sure. I, you know, let me let me see how how it'll go, and I'll I'll make arrangements to do that as soon as I can. Okay. Sure. Uh, otherwise, we we missed you. We had we had like excellent weather, and we had a nice food and and a nice jazz band playing. So it was really. A lovely event, but we were all remarking I, that it was small. So we're we're going to do some brainstorming to improve that. Okay, I'm I'm sorry that I couldn't make it. I would have much preferred to be there than um, doing doing back to school night. <laughs> right, right. Okay, great. So since since we're pressed for time, let's go on to the. We were talking about the relocation of the crew pieces, and we just started talking yeah. about it. We can see that there's a first and second choice. And I was wondering if you could fill us in on how you and Emmett, you know, chose these, chose these locations. Well, it wasn't actually Emmett. I went out with um, the parks representative, and we were looking at um, the area near the kind of the larger pond. I don't want to put them in the area that's um, possibly wetland because they'll get flooded, and, and um, that's bad for the sculpture. So we automatically went towards the um, southern pond, um, and then I kind of wanted to put it on the other side from the large rock that there is there, so they didn't look like they're competing with the yeah. existing rock that was placed there that looks kind of sculptural. Um, we talked about placing them on the lawn that's in front of the pavilion, um, the, the other pavilion, not the one where the... the um, where the bathrooms are, but the other pavilion that, that was existing. Um, and we also talked about putting it closer to the pond. Um, Parks was concerned that um, they, they were worried about if we put them too close to the pond, then people will try to roll them into the water. So oh, they don't want them too close to the water. Um, they also were concerned about putting it in the area of the pavilion because that's where people set up like volleyball games and stuff like that um, and picnics. So they don't want to have it on that lawn. So that kind of left a couple of areas that were on the, let's see, the east side of that pond. Um, there's kind of a larger area. And I always wanted to make sure that it was in a natural area, not turf. 
um, because it'll look more natural. Um, and and um, so the, the larger area is the one that's labeled number one. There's, there's plenty of room to spread the pieces out, which is how they're placed right now. I think they need to have some room around them. They don't want to be um, uh, too close together. And then there's an area that's a little smaller, that's um, the area number two, that I wanted to leave open as a possibility, mostly because of, I, cause Emmett hasn't had an opportunity to come down and visit um, the area. He was just sort of trusting me to talk about it um, with, um, with the parks folks. So um, he would like to reserve the ability to kind of move the pieces wherever he sees fit within the parameters of either number one or number two and kind of make a game day decision. I don't know if that's going to work for parks in terms of um, of how how we go about this and how we get it approved. Um, I didn't realize we had to go to council to move it as well. That's um, that's unusual um, to have to go all the way to city council. But um, I, I I just I guess we need your your recommendation moving forward as to where you would like to see the pieces move um, given those parameters. And the other thing was we wanted to make sure that it was easily accessible with a flatbed truck because basically they're just going to lift them up with, they're going to wrap them in blankets and lift them up with um, a forklift, put them on the back side of a flatbed and then place them and Emmett will help place them when, when they bring them over to the site. So we needed to make sure it was accessible by the um, flatbed and that um, a skid steer could go across and not hurt any of the um, sprinkler system. So that's, so that's the, the narrative of why we chose those places. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. No, I, th I think number one is, number one I think is fine. I, I think uh, they, uh, number two may be a little too tight. I don't think they would look as well being closer together uh, they need some, some space between them, and, and Emmett will will do that. And I think that's why we should probably uh, consider the first choice with a little more space. Yeah. Have you and, had a... Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, Dave. And, well, just in being visible from the road, uh, which is nice. Yeah, and, that and was the, the other trail. thing is that there's people that, that they can... There can be viewability on the on that side from the road that was important too yeah. um, so that when you're walking on the path you'll pass them but also as you as you drive past to get to the parking lot or whatever um, you'll be able to see them as well Kendall yeah. have you had a chance to discuss with Emmett this this proposal of placement yeah I well I sent him an email with all the pictures mm -hmm. and he he was fine with both of the sites and I explained my uh, my thinking on it mm. and um, he would like to come down uh, you know and, and see it he uh, it, it really depends on um, if we if he the way he understood it is that you you guys will make the recommendation um, for the site and then he'll come down and place them individually in the site so um, it's basically up to you guys and he has looked at pictures of the site and has approved it Okay. For, I have a question. For city council purposes, can we, rather than uh, request an exact site, can we just say that area? If we get approval to put I them think, so Yeah, I think the way that oh. it's on the um, screen here with a kind of a, we can make it slightly larger even right in that first choice area, and that's what we can show Parks, Trails, and Recreation Commission and city council. I don't think either of those bodies cares exactly how it's placed it's more just the area that's my that's my right thought. so instead of first choice and second choice can we just draw a circle around the the area that encompasses both choices and say this area and then just to explain that the artist is going to come and place them yeah because it, it would give some some this way way to, to the artist yeah. because I, I i'm most interested in his opinion yeah. Right. Yeah. Certainly the placement and the distance between them. Yes. Yeah. And I, I appreciate the parks 
input, you know, that someone would roll it into the pond, who would think? But that's a, a valid yeah. and very legitimate. Yeah, reason. and that we have to be careful of the irrigation and, and yeah. you know. So is, the is the thought to keep both choices open until Emmett can come down? Kind of. Yeah. It sounds like he wants to come down and then do it all in one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, so yeah we, I think that's the most efficient use of his time is that we, um, once you guys get that general area approved, then we'll set a date to actually do the move and he'll come down early and kind of just assess the site and give him instructions from there. It sounds good. But he'll decide between the first and second choice on that day? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's, well, that's, if that's what you guys want. I, yeah. I mean, you can, you, I, if you want to make the area that you're recommending uh, encompassing both area one and two, I think that that would be wise. At least they're not like on opposite sides of the park. That's just yeah, why I yeah, asked. Because they're yeah. close to each yeah. other. And if we can just say, you know, same area. in that area of the park, I think you know, when we take relatively it, near the road, yeah. you know, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. When we take it to PTRC, we can say that these are the two options that we're considering, and the artist will make the ultimate decision once he's had, once he's placing them. Um, if PTRC gives us any pushback, we'll just have to bring it back to you guys and to the commissioner and have you guys decide which one you want. So we can take it back to PTRC and say, okay, this is for sure the spot, and okay. then take that to council. Can we so say, we're just worried about pushback from PTRC. If they do push back, then why don't we just then we go with choice one. I mean, I, to, right. so you don't have to come back to us. True. You know, just okay. yeah. try, to uh, get, try to get the whole space approved. And if they push back, then we, uh, we go with, with one. What do you think about that, Kendall? I, I'm having a hard time hearing. So you're just saying, um, <laughs> can, you, can you just on. tell me, Pamela? Cause yes. What, what, um, we're discussing as a possibility of, you know, initially or, you know, as trying to get the entire area that encompasses one and two approved. But if we get pushback, yeah. can we can we default to one? Is that okay? I mean, can Emmett live with sure, one? Of course. I, I think I think Emmett will be happy with either one of the choices. He just I think he we really would love to have it in one of those areas, and I don't I don't know that it, it matters to him. So. And he, he acknowledges that it's kind of up to you in part. So you guys, that, that's totally fine. Okay, so if, yeah, maybe you can go back to him and tell him, we're going to try and get approval for more flexibility for oh. him. But if they push back, okay, we're going to go with that first choice. Great. I, he appreciates it, and I, and I know that uh, whatever it is, it's better than where it is right now. So <laughs> okay. You want to move to... Okay, I, I still have a couple of questions for the commission to tie this up, but it's, with Kendall's time, do we want to talk about the meeting time real quick? Do we want to skip yeah, to so that and come back to this? we just need to do our motion, though, right, for this? Sorry? We just need to do the motion for, to move the pieces. I was thinking we could do that after we talk oh, to Kendall. Okay. Just come back oh, to this. Okay, got it, got it. Okay. All right, so we're going we're gonna to table this for just a minute and go on to the um, meeting schedule. So Mondays... No one seems to be that thrilled with Monday morning anyway. <laughs> um, but are there other <laughs> mornings that don't work for um, people? Tuesday doesn't work for me. Okay. Yeah, that's hard for me too. Okay. I'm fine with anything. Yeah. So Kendall, Wednesday or Thursday mornings, are those work? What we can't do Wednesday um, because Wednesday. of court. Oh, okay. Wednesday. So we could court. do Thursday. We could do Thursday. And what time Thursday on? Thursday does not work for. Thursday does not work for me in the morning. I have a 10 o'clock. What about Friday? Days later. Fridays are tough. Sorry, I can do later. 10? She has a chair. Kendall, when would you be able to get here in person on a Thursday? On a Thursday? Um, well, if my 10 o'clock goes until uh, 1130, I could leave right after that. So it takes me about 45 minutes to get to you guys. So we could do like a 1 o'clock? Mm hmm I don't love Thursdays. Oh, I mean, okay. I know, I feel like Mondays will work if we just adjust the time. Yeah, why, why don't we say Monday at 10? Yeah, well, yeah. she has a 10 o'clock. She has a 10 o'clock, oh, but um, yeah, what would work for you on a Monday, Kendall? Um, again, I can be there at one o'clock on Monday. 
Um, and, and keep in mind that this meeting is a standing meeting only through October. So I could go back to, it's just I have a standing meeting at 10 o'clock on, on Mondays and Thursdays yeah. for this project that will finish at the end of October. Okay. Oh, okay, so we can do just the next meeting at 1 o'clock and then we can, def we can go back to the Monday morning at 10. Yeah. Would that work, Kendall? Or 10 is a little tight. Yeah, that'll work. Does that work with you getting your kids uh, to school? No, that, that I can do at 10 o'clock. Uh, you know, if, if we just move it temporarily for, um, for the one, yeah, that's fine. Um, I, if I just go straight from dropping my kids, I can come right down. So I could do at 10 o'clock. Okay. So is everyone available for Mondays at 10 starting? So Kendall would starting October 25th at 10? Would that no, work? I, it, no, it would have to be um, the November meeting. I, the November I, my, meeting. Okay. I'm finishing this project on the 27th. Okay, so, so 1 o'clock for meetings. September and October, and then 10 o'clock starting yeah, November. November. That's good. I like it. Does that work for everybody? Yes. 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 Okay, wonderful. The next meeting is at 1. And yes, the next yeah. two. The next Thanks. meeting, the next being, um, And then 10 o'clock after Thanks that. for that. I appreciate it. Ooh. I can't do next, the next one at one. But, okay. That's okay, right? We, yeah. We, we'll have still have a quorum. As long as everyone yeah. else can make it, we'll still have a quorum. Well, and, Kristen's out of this country at September. I'm out of the country oh. in September. Okay, so how many do we need? For a quorum? So we'll be fine. We need we'll be four. Fine. The rest so. of us. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Um, so do we want to push? Well, I guess do we do we have anything else for Kendall? Well, I don't want to be respectful of her time. Yeah. Anyone have anything in particular? No. No. Nope. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay. All right, Kendall. Thank you so much for joining, and we'll. Um, See you. Yeah, thank you guys for accommodating me. I, pro I apologize for being the hard one, <laughs> the difficult person. Yeah, no, no, it sounds like it's really going to be fine in just a couple months, so thank you. Yeah, yeah, it should be fine. Mm -hmm. No, I think it's fine. Okay, and Kendra, I'll follow uh, up with you after the meeting about everything that's getting talked about. Okay, sounds good. Thank you okay. so much. I'll thank talk you. to you guys soon. Okay. Bye. 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 Thank you. Um, and I can, I just have a one o'clock next, um, next meeting, but I can come for our, I can just come here afterwards. Oh, yes, for the working. For the working. I was just going to ask if you guys still want to have that or you want to push it. I can, uh, my, that appointment will take about an hour, so I can just pop over yeah. after. Okay. Okay. Let's, yeah. let's try and do it. And Kristen yeah. will give us her input since she's going to be out of the country. So. Okay. I mean, it may take a couple of working group meetings. Uh -huh. yeah. So let's try and start. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, um, so we do we go back to the motion yeah. for the um, moving the pieces? Yeah, let's go back up to crew series. Okay. Um, and I okay, move. so uh, sorry, before we go to the motion, um, I just want to double check on the next steps, if you don't mind. So the, um, we have been putting any art in the crier before it goes to city council. And in this case, the next available issue of the crier would be October. So we would usually do that and then PTRC and then city council. So that pushes things back a bit. And the, the crier article started because I forget which piece it was, but somebody would, some, one of the mayors got some feedback from residents that they didn't know this was happening and how were they supposed to know and that kind of thing. So we've started putting it in the crier since then. Um, so if that's okay with everybody, then we'll plan on that for the October crier and we'll go to PTRC in October, which means that the council meeting wouldn't be until later. Um, Wait a minute, yeah. Can it would be the that? November. We would get, go to council oh, in November. Oh, okay, got it, got it. So, and that's also, um, we have to talk about what we're gonna do for the September crier, or we already have, what do we have? We skipped the September crier. Oh, okay. So yeah, September's already been printed. It'll come out in a few days. So oh, that right. one you skipped. Um, what we'll have in October is your event wrap up, the pictures and all of that so far. 
Okay, and then we'll also have a notice about moving the... Correct. We okay. can put crew series in there as well. Okay, and we need one of us to write that, right? Or I can. You, or you mm -hmm. can. Okay, all right. Um, okay, so I just wanted to make sure everyone's on the same page about the next steps, but yeah, please do the motion, Dave, if you want to, if you're ready. The, what is the body that you said before it goes to council, the P Parks, Trails, and Recreation Commission, ah, PTRC. Okay. Sorry, okay. I abbreviated. P yeah, park, okay. because it's in a park. Otherwise, you wouldn't have to, like for Mangold, we didn't have to because it's not in a park, but for this, we do. Sorry, I'm just taking a note here, moving crew pieces. It sounds like the artist is very willing to um, go with our decision. So can we just decide we like suggestion one? I don't, I so. I don't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> but even if it's um, you know, a few down. feet over, it's still in that area? Yeah, but I think what we're trying, we're, we're giving that whole broad area right. for approval. And then, because he's going to come down here and he will have an opinion. I guarantee it. I mean, I, I, I appreciate that, that he's saying, oh, whatever, but he's, uh-uh. Yeah, I don't see why we couldn't try for the broader approval. And yeah. if we don't get it, we okay. don't get it. That's life. Yeah. And then if, if there is pushback, then we go with area one. But I, I really believe, I mean, he may not have an opinion, but I, I just, I He'll think have we should, an opinion. Okay. Yeah, I think we should leave it open for, for that okay. possibility. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Do we want to make the motion? Yeah. I, I move to recommend that City Council approve relocation of the crew series pieces to John Mead Park in the areas uh, incorporated in area number one and number two for the maps. Yeah, I second the motion. Um, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, that passes. Um, so the PTRC meeting would be October 14th. Is anyone available at um, 5.30, I believe they start. Is anyone available from the commission to come to that meeting? I could come. Shenley? Okay. Thanks, Shenley. Thank you, Shenley. Hey, Shenley. Okay, the next item is the um, art show. Uh, it looks like we got more pieces. So, Sarah, you want to? Yeah. So, Jessica, how many total do we have? We have 18 submittals total, and it's by 11 different people. So, some people submitted two, like we asked them to, and then some only yeah. submitted one. Okay. So, we have uh, two or three that are children's drawings that... Uh, I think some grandparents had submitted, so we won't be accepting those. But um, so I think when we extended the deadline, and um, so I think, you know, maybe we'll try to get a few more professional artists to submit and to kind of open up the restrictions that it can be any color mat, any color frame, mm. and sizing. And then that way we can fill the space a little more since we were planning on 30 paintings. So that way, I have one other artist, Linda Kelly is her name. She's a professional artist, watercolor. And so I'm hoping she'll submit to, and I told her to kind of open up those restrictions. And, um, and then maybe I'll try to, you know, see if I can get some other ones. But, um, you know, for a first time, kind of, I think we learned a lot, <laughs> a lot of lessons from what to put in um, as kind of the description of, of entries. Um, but I think it'll be it'll be nice. It'll be a nice show, and um, just not quite as many entries. And if we do it again, I think kind of we'll get more word out about about the show. Do we, so, have we talked about a date for that show yet? I think it was early November, but we didn't have an exact date. It was TBA? When do you want? When's the last? Deadline. You know, I, I think we can be pretty flexible. If there's somebody you know that would like to submit, I yeah. think we would take even the week before. Okay. I mean, as long as it's framed and kind yeah. of ready, that everything's kind of set up right to hang for okay. paintings. And it's a landscape? Is that it's la Colorado landscape Colorado. watercolors. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
do you want to decide a date for the event now? So then that way I can reach out to the artist or if anybody sure. sends something to me. Yeah, yeah. Also, because we'll want to put that in the crier too, the exact date. Yeah, that's right. And maybe yeah. we can even get it into the Cherry Hills Living <laughs> magazine. Oh, yeah. I can yeah. tell Lizzie. Oh, that'd be great. <clears throat> um, okay. So I'm going to leave the date, I guess, up to you guys. Um, I don't know what uh, you normally, when have you normally done this show? Yeah, what night of the week do we do the Susan Cooper show? A uh, Wednesday or a Thursday? I think it was a Thursday. Like the first week of November, was it about? Because I think then we're getting too close to to Thanksgiving holiday. Yeah. Thursday the fourth. Is that fourth. What, what you're thinking? Yeah, maybe. It's like, I like that. I do too. So then, you know, yeah, because elections are always on Tuesdays, right? <laughs> We're running into election, <laughs> election day. <laughs> Not at City Hall. <laughs> yeah. So um, what, does the everyone want to check all the school and social calendars for that day before we put it in stone and just let me and Jessica know if you see anything on those calendars that would be a conflict? We can plan on it, but... Um, November 4th. Yeah. I think we should just go with it just for this. Okay, I don't know. Like, any, does, is anyone like close to particular schools? Like, Della, could you just come yeah. back on the ca calendar? Sure. Maybe right just, uh, yeah. And <laughs> does anyone have anybody at the elementary school across the street? Nope. High school? No. Kristen, you have uh, kids at the high school? You want to just check the high school calendar? I can try. It doesn't mean it matches with theirs, but yes. <laughs> I might still be able to get into it. I, and I think I'm mostly, trying to get out yeah. all those emails, but they keep coming. And so, if we did the fourth, then um, when would you when would you like to hang the week week before? So if we did the fourth, you're maybe we could have them make sure that they're here by October twenty fifth. Okay. Which is the Monday before, and then that would give us that entire week to try to hang it. Hang it. Okay, that's great. And then we'd be ready for the event on the 4th. Okay. All right. And hanging entails, like, do we need a lot of, you know, a couple people for hanging, or do we have help here? Um, who, who normally hangs? So what work? we did with the photography exhibit is Kathy Finger and Allison Lynch hung everything. Okay. Okay. So well, if there are great. two volunteers yeah. from the commission, okay. then... Um, yeah, I, I think Kathy just wanted to make sure that it visually looked good, mm -hmm. so she was the one that primarily hung everything. Yeah, okay, that's great. Right, so we just need to get so. a couple of volunteers, yeah, who will come and hang, or at yeah. least, um, like, I'm happy to help, but if we could get a more professional eye, maybe like Della or Kristen to yeah, I'm happy aesthetically to. Yeah, I'll come to. to. Yeah. I'm sorry, I missed that part because I was looking at this calendar. Did, um, how are you hanging on the, the hanging system, or? Yes. The hanging system. Okay. Yeah, I'd be happy to. Um, the only, uh, Kent has the fall play, 6.30 to 8, but I don't think that would be a what huge. What night? November 4th. Oh. Oh. I mean, I don't know if that's a huge competition, you know. Yeah. My kids aren't in it. But. No. <laughs> mine. West is all clear. I don't see anything on Creek. Um, so. And that fall play, it goes several days, so if someone wanted to schedule. Yeah, they can schedule around it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we just go with yeah. the fourth. And do we know what time? I was just going to ask. <laughs> <laughs> what did we do with the Susan Cooper uh -huh. one? Susan Cooper was earlier. Hers was 5.30. 5.30 to 7.30? 5.30 to 7.30. Yeah. You available? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I, for me, maybe, you know, I don't know, six would be better just with sports and pick up and all that stuff but um with well, six we could work, do six to eight right or six to seven thirty six to seven thirty we don't need to make it two hours no, that's true so. six to seven thirty is that okay that good. um are you guys going to want wine again do we do a special event liquor permit again of course we <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> resounding yes we'll deal with the <laughs> at least we know our system now so that wasn't so bad it wasn't too painful right <laughs> <laughs> Kristen and Laura and I 
did that last time and it wasn't it was too great. Y'all did a great job. Wasn't too bad. We were pretty fast. I yes. do have to say that was a fast shopping yeah, yeah. trip. So Okay, so um, did you say, do we need to present the state to anyone beforehand or we're just making the final decision? No, you're just no. making the final decision now. So we so can put we'll it out to, to the, the artists and, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so 6 to 8.30, or 6, six to 7.30. 7 6 to 7.30, yes. Yeah. And that's on the 4th, right? On the 4th yeah. of November, yes. And so that we do have a, the deadline will be October 25th, 25th yeah. because then mm -hmm. we have time for hanging. Yeah. So Sarah, do you, did you say we are taking the children drawings or we're not? No, we're not, no, okay. no, no, because I think yeah. that yeah. it's, a, we're trying to create a more professional. Okay. Um, so don't reach it, out to them. No, and it's a juried show. So I think that. I guess I thought that might. We'd have to all have a whole separate category. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, right, right. So they wouldn't have, they wouldn't be accepted anyway. If, so I, I think writing it up, I thought a juried show po possibly sends the message that it's a professional um, exhibit. Okay. So some people didn't get that. <laughs> I have to put an age limit on it, I guess. <laughs> Sorry, bear with me. I need to take one more. No, I'm going to reach out to somebody who's an artist. That so I, I think yes. drop off for paintings then should be um, the Friday before the 25th. Okay. If we're going to start hanging on that week, the 25th, or should we have drop off be on the Monday, the 25th? We can have drop off be Monday, the 25th, and then you can start hanging. That gives you from the 26th to the 3rd. Yeah. To that's hang great. In. Okay. okay. So Jessica, would, do you uh, want to put that email together, or do you want me to do that, or I we can put it I can put it together and send it to you. Okay, okay. and yeah. see the acceptance the... email. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, yeah. I'll put something together and then send it to you, and just make sure okay. you don't want me to say anything all right. else. I'll actually I'll talk to Boris, and, and actually, can you send me all the files sure. for the paintings, and then I'll send them to Boris, and then we'll kind of just wait maybe uh, another month or so and see if we get what else we get in. Okay. Do we have anything from, do we, did Ye Ellis um, submit anything? Because I'll reach out to her. E. Ellis? Yep. That doesn't sound familiar, but okay. I'll check. They, they were sent to it. Uh huh. She's, a, she's in the Cheryl's and great, yeah. good, great artist. I don't know if she does landscape, but. Yeah, okay. I'll ask. No, I don't have anything. Okay, great. While you're checking, can you check Julie Bennett? And if she participated yes. in our photography. Julie Bennett did. She sent in one. Oh, excellent. Good. That's, I, sh I should not keep pestering her. <laughs> She's already done that. <laughs> 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 what about um, Amos? What about Melinda Hayman? Yeah, what about do we have Melinda Hayman? She, she didn't submit. So okay, you, watercolor though, or is she just oil? I think I've seen her do some watercolors, but I don't know her that well. I, I met yeah. her a long time ago. Uh, well, I'll reach out yeah. to her. No problem. Okay. You ready to move on? Yep. Awesome. Okay. Uh, oh, and sorry, just to confirm, no charge for this one. This is just a free event, correct? Yes. yes. Right. Yeah. Okay. Great. We already asked her that question. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, all right. Next item, um, professional photographs of the public art collection. I know we discussed this last time, and everyone agrees we would love to have better photos, but we're trying not to. We're trying, it would be great if we could get someone to donate their time to take the photos. Okay. So if anybody has any. Oh, oh did you? Well, I only took the one picture and sent it to Della. Um, and then, um, so I think if we were going to do this, we'd hire a professional photographer. Mm -hmm. I don't want to sign my husband up for this. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. So I don't know if we does anyone know any, maybe someone, it'd be nice if we could reach out to someone who's either a professional or just a strong amateur to who would consider donating their okay. yeah. services. <laughs> 
Yeah. I is mean, this if, that's for a, a if that's a failure, well. Is this for a portfolio or for just future flyers? I think for the, I think most importantly for the record, and mm -hmm. then for whatever n needs we might in the future. Them. Yeah, okay. and I feel like whenever a new piece is brought in, it should be, you know, photographed and. Yeah. yeah. Maybe I could talk to the um, one of the teachers at Kent. Um, oh, Corky. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. I can reach out to Corky. Okay. Yeah. Um, Corky Dean, and then. Um, what about someone f from the, do we have some, for the crier, do we have a, do you oh. use somebody? No, you have me and my iPhone usually. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Well done. Uh -huh. uh, to add to that, the Della, I didn't mean when we did the annual, uh, when we did the recap of the annual meeting, to thank you so much for putting together the poster for Oh, yeah. yeah. Thank you so she much for that. Job. was thank very you. nice. Yeah. yeah. Be careful with those corners. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I put them in the records room. They're laying on a shelf flat, so they'll be protected. Good. So we're good. Good. <laughs> okay. So it sounds like people can brainstorm if you're, and reach out to anybody they can think of, and we'll, we'll talk about it next time. Oh, my favorite, the budget. <laughs> All right, let's see. So in looking at the budget, we I updated all of the annual event information based on the discussion we held at the last meeting. So we took out the valet. We increased the food and drink budget. Um, and then we also took out, we had both a sculpture on loan and a permanent sculpture. So I took out the sculpture on loan and just left the permanent sculpture in. So those were the changes that I made that you see before you now. Okay. Um, and then I had uh, a couple of questions. I guess one of them was we, I noticed that you took the um, money out for the fundraising letter um, window clings or whatever. To purchase more. Yes. I don't think I had that in there to begin with. I had that in the financials because we bought them last year. So it compares 2021 to 20 or 2020 to 2021. But I didn't have them in the actual 2022 budget. I can put them back. I can put them in if you'd like to buy some more. All right. Well, I guess it's a question for everyone. And, and maybe we have to just discuss this at the working group meeting. Um, if we had a bigger annual event, then I think that would take, you know, traditionally that's all we've done for fundraising. We don't, that's just what we have done, but it doesn't mean that's all we have to do. Mm -hmm. um, since this event was small, I was thinking about whether or not we could discuss still sending out a fundraising letter. And then um, uh, Shenley and I were noting that the window clings just didn't stay on the cars, like yeah. probably like the first car wash and it's gone. Yeah. So that maybe we could consider doing, I know I have a really nice magnetic one on my car that always stays through car washings, um, that we could maybe um, look into how much it would cost to produce magnetic car things, and, and that we could consider still sending out a fundraising letter, obviously reworked um, for this year. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know, but on my car, the magnetic doesn't stick on the Escalade. I don't know if there's oh, something. Okay, it doesn't I don't know mind. If it's made of plastic or something, but <laughs> I can't get these. Um, so I don't know how many cars or if other people have magnetic. I guess we have 88 window clings left, so we could do a check if you want a window cling or a or magnet, magnet if they're okay. not too yeah. expensive to make. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I think we should just rework the the whole thing. Like maybe um, have an artist make an image, like so we could kind of promote an, an artist. And then window clings, I think they work really well if they're thicker. Um, I've, I've had window clings like, you know, for a club or whatever, and they, they stay on really well. So I think it was like too thin for our climate, maybe. Um, and I know that we have a bunch, but if they don't work, they just don't work, you know? Right. So, okay. So don't use the ones we have. But so, and then so we could do it at the brainstorming meeting, you know, like in the future. Mm -hmm. Just 
Yeah. Okay, because it, it definitely it takes a little time to make a new thing. And I think if we want to, okay, we can discuss it. We do have an image we could use for this year, I, though. I love this image. I do too. Yeah, I, I like okay, it too. Okay. And then, you know, in the future, we could consider having mm -hmm. a couple of versions mm -hmm. like of it idea. or something, or I don't know. May I have one? And I, I'll, I'll see if it works. <laughs> Should gonna... Test it out. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, that was the Shenley and our, in my experience. It, it just costs $100. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll wait for your donation. No, Te teasing, definitely. Um, okay, so maybe we can, um, we can just touch on that in our working group meeting, too. Mm -hmm. um, okay, yeah. I'm happy to rework the letter, and we can... Well, and also um, how Kendall um, mentioned that really to, to share with people that we're really trying to raise money for a robust permanent sculpture, um, you know, in that letter would be them contributing to that effort. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Do we, uh, with that, you know, like with the Butterfield, is there a plaque that has the donor's name somewhere? acknowledging their for yeah. Charlotte we have a big one right here in the front entryway yeah. against the brick wall that was for the Butterfield okay great yeah I think uh, right that's the only one we've done yeah right that's the only one we've ever done and, and that was of course such a such an expensive mm -hmm. piece of art that and there were some really big donors involved mm -hmm. in that and mm -hmm. even by regular standards, mm -hmm. the small donors were like a thousand dollars each or something. So, like right. that was a major, yeah. a major thing. For I know our um, Gusto sculpture was about was it about sixty thousand? Yeah, we we paid sixty thousand. I believe we had yeah. forty thousand from the town for that mm -hmm. because we got a percentage of the budget of this building, mm -hmm. and then we used some money from the art donation account. Um, which, of course, can come from the annual event and mm -hmm. other places, as we learned last time. Um, so I guess uh, that's something we can take up with Kendall again, is I don't think we've really discussed what the budget is for the next piece, the next permanent piece for the park. And also, are we the only ones funding that, or are we doing that with Parks and Trails or with some other... Parks and Trails does not have anything in their budget for a sculpture. I believe it, originally it was discussed maybe doing it with the land preserve, but oh, then the they took preserve. it because of COVID, they took it out of their budget as well. So if um, we, like, we'd like, the commission would like to reach out to the land preserve and see if that's something that they'd like to partner with. Um, but it, it wouldn't be PTR. Then the they, land they preserve is, non, is a nonprofit. It has, it's not a commission. Correct. Like They're Parks and Trails. They're a completely separate entity, yes. Um, Parks and Trails only has a budget for their special events. They don't have, they don't okay, have a line okay. item budget like the commission. So the only other possibility for funding is if we did, if the land preserve wanted to be involved. And what are the, what's their um, involvement with all the parks, the new park back here? They're doing the event? Um, they, they usually have tables at some of our events to promote the land preserve. They also donated I think they donated something towards the park. I don't know if it was financial or if they actually donated something that went into the park. I can't remember. But aside from that, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. What about the Canal Trail folks? I mean, I know it extends beyond Cherry Hills, but have they ever been involved with anything? Not parks related. Not for <laughs> this park related. More Highline related. Yeah. Um. And who's been our, our like liaison with Parks and Trails? Do we have a, anyone on the commission that has been, or is it you guys just reach out to them? I want to say Dave, but I'm going to the liaison list here. I think we each got a, a liaison um, last Assignment. year. Yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah. Oh yes. Like I have Aaron Gordinsky. Oh yes. Oh. Shenley. Yes, you're the one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I mean, I, I could reach out to them. You could reach out and tell them that we're considering a permanent piece there. And we're if they th could. thinking about different ways to fundraise because currently we only have 10, we're hoping, we have to find out if that's approved again. We only specifically have 10,000 
from the town for that. So since Shenley is going to PTRC on October 14th about the crew series, you could ask them then. I, I was con thinking since I was, I am the liaison for them, that it would be good that I was at that meeting. Um, so maybe I would talk to you about the correct way to bring it up or speak. And then I'll also call my liaison and talk to him before the meeting. Right? Yeah. That would be good. Right. Yeah, the, the chair is... Um, Stephanie Dahl. Thank you, Stephanie Dahl. Now, so but we can connect. Okay, to then I'll sure. email you and get the proper name. Okay. And um, Jessica, remind me when do we when does um, council approve our budget? So we're giving them a draft in September, budget right? In September, September twenty first, and then we'll have a study session October fourth. So that'll be the first feedback I get from them. Will be study session October fourth. Okay. So then, can you make sure and let Shenley know? what the feedback is so she at least knows if it's likely we're getting that 10,000 okay. again. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and, and again, they can, we have first reading in November, sec second reading in December, so um, they can make any changes that they want up until December, but I can give you any feedback that I get from them during the study session if they say anything. Okay. So Pamela, are we still considering pieces for the preserve here for the for the park like the the nature pieces is that something we're working towards or we're just uh, kind of floating out there I think so given like and I don't know how we do this again or how we did it in the past but we had gotten some community feedback that people wanted some a representational piece right right and we decided when we purchased the last permanent piece which is the gusto piece in uh -huh. front of this building uh -huh that a more abstract piece would look better with this building's architecture. Right, right. So I think trying to um, take into consideration some of the views of, of the community, and I don't actually know how many people this is. I mean, this may be mm -hmm. two people, or it may mm -hmm. be more than that. I, I don't know. Right. Um, we were thinking something more representational, yeah, or more maybe more fun, mm -hmm. whimsical. I don't know how you yeah. want to put it yeah. for mm -hmm. the, the around the park area here somewhere. Okay. Just, I had seen a few pieces that some rabbits and some some uh, herons and things. I sent them to Kendall. You so, did send them to Kendall. Yeah, so maybe we'll, I'll put them on the agenda, or if, if that's something that we're doing or not doing. I don't know. Uh, yeah, definitely. I guess yeah. we just need to decide when we get to that point. I don't okay. know if we want to first figure out the budget and then and afterwards and then yeah. afterwards. Okay. Because yeah. we have we're no, in under no particular rush. That's really our. Decision of when we have the funding and when we, but since we're not doing an art on loan piece, well, we have a little time with the art on loan piece. That tends yeah. to roll around soon, so yeah. it's true. Maybe okay. we can, if we have a better sense of what our budget is or what our goals are, or if we're trying to do a fundraising for that piece in particular. Yeah. And if we would do another plaque or something, that I mean, there's a lot to think about there. Would we ever do a call for submission, call for artists? We have done that in the past. Mm -hmm. um, we have a login for a cafe uh -huh. for entry. So we did. We done. It's been several years, long time okay. since we've done that. Um, more recently, it's been through Kendall. We've you know the commission has told her what you all are looking for. She and what our back, budget is. Yeah, and the budget. Right. She brings back some options um, for Gusto. There were three artists that the commission interviewed and got proposals from before deciding on a final one. I believe it was. But we, we do have that cafe option if we want it. I think that's a good idea too. I mean, to utilize both. You know, yeah, maybe Kendall we can or... discuss that with Kendall. I don't know how successful our cafe, the cafe call, was. I mean, I guess it depends on the budget. Yeah. And I guess we found it, or the commission in the past found it like more efficient to work with Kendall. Yeah. But we can let's discuss it. Yeah. Let's discuss it the next time how to go about finding the next piece, permit piece. Um, oh, budget. Let me see what other questions I had. Um, oh, I just had a question. Um, for the art donation account for 2021, it said their squared, which is Kendall's fees, August through December, 6,725. Are you looking at this one? It's, I don't know, wherever that is. Okay, so in the financials, we usually, so I'll start separating out how much I pay her individually, and then that's just the line item. So 
Her total amount that we agreed on for 2021 was $8,000. So it's subtracting her actual bills from that $8,000. So if we paid her the full $8,000, we would still have $6,725 left to pay her. So it doesn't necessarily mean she'll... No, no, exactly. She said yeah. she rarely gets through the whole $8,000. Yeah. Um, okay, so so this is not the money we've spent or no. the, until August. It's the it's money just, we yeah, haven't spent, in fact. Correct. It's just assuming that we will pay her the remain the full $8,000. So the very bottom where it says remaining art donation account funds, the 29000 that uh -huh. could go up depending on how much we actually pay Kendall this year. Okay. Thank you. Um, and then um, I know I personally would be interested in seeing the breakdown from the annual event, like actually how much money we spent on everything and what money came in. Okay. Um, I can put that in the packet next time. We just didn't have it since the event right, was last right. week. So I didn't have it for this time. Yeah. So we'll, I have we'll the make sure we break in the that car out. for the, <laughs> the yeah. line. I remember that. <laughs> Um, okay. Yeah, I'll have that broken out in the financials for the next meeting. Okay, and when our budget ends up, when we, when, when we, I mean, when council looks through the budget and we have a negative, like we think we're going to be, you know, over budget by 10,000, like they don't care about that because they know we have the art donation count or does anyone ever ask about that or? They are aware that you have the art donation account, yes. So they kind of like, so, mm -hmm. it's like whatever. Usually what I, what it's I It's however ambitious we are and if we can cover <laughs> the cost of what events we're doing. Yes, um, normally in what they see in my projections, they see your budget amount, which would be the 21,000 because I took the 10,000 out. So right now everything that I've shown them looks that you will be 21,000. I need to update that based on the numbers from the annual event. Um, but yeah, they see 21,000 and then um, understand that the rest would come from your art donation account because they are aware that you have it. And then, uh, the, uh, yes, and then in addition to that, we're asking to roll over that 10,000 that they originally granted us. Correct. We'll just still explain that because of COVID and everything else, we haven't gotten to that project, but that will be a priority. Yes. For us, okay. Anyone have, have any other questions about the budget? I do. Um, Kathy Finger mentioned to me at our event, she wanted to know if we received the percentage from really that. Uh, oh, ask. Yeah, just we that. did, yes. Okay. He, he paid us a percentage of um, when he sold it to Kathy, he did send in the, the difference to the city. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Wonderful, thanks. Okay. Okay, we already did the meeting day and time. Uh, the preserve. Did, sorry, did you want to talk about the short term, long term goals or oh, move that to the oh, next yes. meeting? Oh, yeah, did I miss that? Hang on. Oh, yeah, there it is. Sorry. Um, did everyone get a chance to look at this or do you want to push this to the next meeting? Or I thought you'd updated it. Like you made a lot of the obvious updates. That's great. I mean, I guess we can just go through it quickly. Um, goal number one, the permanent sculpture in John Mead Park. That makes sense to me based on what we were just discussing. Um, uh, brainstorming for our annual fundraising event. That makes fun sense. We have our working party, a scheduled annual art exhibit. Uh, the snow plow painting program. But that comes up too, right? We're going to discuss that. And we have added that later in the year. Yeah, yeah. No, I think I think we should. I, and most of us don't even really know how that works. And well, didn't we get rid of the snowplow sculpture? Oh, it's, it's a not a sculpture. It's not the sculpture. It's actually painting the town's snowplows. The children and the surrounding oh, schools okay. do it. I thought it was the one here. I got it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I want to hear feedback on that because I <clears throat> suggested that, that I do something with it last year. And of course, cop. COVID was a problem, but my experience as an art teacher, my forte was large inner school projects, but I'm questioning this one because as I understand it, with the three schools, St. Mary's was unable to accommodate it. So that narrowed it down to the two schools. And coming from the classroom as a teacher, I'm, I'm really questioning the pressure on these teachers this year or something particularly a group thing. Mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah. 
So I don't want it to turn into a negative have to for them to keep it. But I was wondering what you were thinking again this year, knowing the, that it's an unknown. I didn't know whether I could talk with them at maybe having their classes uh, <clears throat> come up with a sculpture that we could temporarily place out in the park. It's kind of a temporary exhibit mm -hmm. from the different art uh, departments, but that would really only be, well, it would be two. I can't, I don't know exactly what Cherry Hills Village, the elementary is able to do. I actually volunteered with um, Cherry Hills Village Elementary to paint the snow plows, so I kind of came over and helped the kids with the paint. Yeah. A little bit scary for me. <laughs> um, but I, I, they were all very excited at the time we did it, which was pre-COVID, because the kids could just walk across the street. They pulled the plow up right in the front here, I think it was. Um, and it was actually a good... That um, was a fun good experience. Yeah. activity. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, it was a fun experience and it was fun because that's something you don't usually paint. So it takes that like, you know, on a piece of paper or a canvas, like you're actually doing a snow plow and it's you, it, like, it was, I liked it. I thought it was good, but yeah. um, maybe we do reach out and what do the teachers need support with, you know, because the teachers kind of sat back. So I think they were excited that like there were some volunteers to well, I'll run that. Well, I'll talk to the two departments at St. Mary's and Kent and see what they're um, yeah. What about um, and but like, yeah, and then there's the elementary schools. What about me? the elementary school? Oh, too. I mean, I'm because yeah. Mm -hmm. And then what about like West and Aspen Academy? And you know, do we reach out to them? How many plows do we have? Yeah, good We've question. painted three in the past. We, we did three we in the past. Three. Mm -hmm. And it just um, we usually just reach out to the three schools that are the Cherry Hills Elementary, St. Mary's, and Kent Denver. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if we've ever reached out to us before. Mm -hmm. It's usually our public works department that sort of coordinates that. So I don't, I don't know if they've reached out to them and they've said no. But sometimes in the past when it's been too difficult for St. Mary's, we've only had two plows that were painted, one from the elementary school and one from Kent Denver. So, And then where are the plows? Are they set somewhere or I haven't seen those? So they... Um, when they're painted, they, they drop off the actual plow part at the school. Okay. And then they paint them, and then they add them to the snow plow. So you might then, not. Yeah, and they plow with it. Oh, they plow with mm -hmm. the paint on the snow. Oh, my they gosh. Yeah. Wow. That's How cool. Long are they, do they keep the plows to paint? They, um, a couple months, I think. At least a month. I'm not sure. Um, I know they would usually pick them up towards the end of October, beginning of November because of the snow, but I don't know when they would drop them off. Kristen, when you helped out that day, did they just paint it all in one go, like it was a, an event for that yeah, day? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I, I was there for a shift, um, uh -huh. but I remember it was warm because um, we were kind of looking for shade, so obviously it wasn't like right before right. we needed right, it. Right, right, so right. It would right, be right. about now yeah. <laughs> that they and were painting them. Did yeah. they create the scene, or was there sort of a scene in mind? Or, the, or? the scene was already created. It was, and I don't know if that was another type of um, kind of, you know, name the snowplow, and then they created something with it. But yeah, it's okay. not a free for all. Okay. It was, uh, it <laughs> yeah. was drawn on there, and they right. they, they painted, painted it. it. Okay. So it was it was kind of fun. I think the little kids may be more fun than middle schoolers. Yeah. Um, right. I don't know. Well, I mean, you could reach out, and if they say, oh, it's still not a good year because of COVID, we could just take this year off and then just bring it back mm -hmm. yeah. when things are more normal. I also wish we could come up with another thought that might be fresh, too. I think it's a great idea for some plows for cherry hills, but I wish I could have plan B, too. Mm -hmm. We're, we're going to show you some pictures. Oh, great. Oh, so this was Cherry Hills Elementary. I took, I took pictures from our yard of them actually painting it. Oh, yeah, that's great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they got to put CHVE in the corner. Oh, wow, that's fun. <laughs> that's so great. <clears throat> and then you see it. Like, that's mm -hmm. the fun part. And the kids yeah. could watch it coming down yeah. the street yeah. Yeah. if they ever get a snow day. Oh. Look at that. That's great. Oh. This Who is provides that the That one was materials? Kent Denver. Who provides the materials? Um, I believe the schools do. We just, we just give them the plows. And then, then yeah, they just paint them. 
I think it's fun. It is. I mean, I could understand if it's too much this year because we're still kind of in COVID. Like, but I, uh, I think it would be fun to can just keep try and keep the tradition going. It's a fun tradition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. And then we can always brainstorm other things. So you'll reach out to the schools. I've got the people contact people, and I'll do that this week. Yeah, let's see what wonderful. They say. Yeah, we'll see what they I say. Know. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Anyway, um, so we digress, but we did take care of that. Um, just back to the goals. Um, the fifth goal: continued participation in annual Cherry Hills Park Preserve Trail Walk. That's also coming up. We can discuss that, and then build a stronger, larger group of advocates and patrons. We kind of talked about that before when we were talking about what we do for the annual event. Um, so. Short-term goals, continuous sculpture. I, I, I just think this is a whole big discussion, and we've had a lot in today's meeting already. So if, I think if everyone just spent some time thinking about it, we have our next meeting in the working group, and, and we'll see how to, you know, tackle this, approve it, tinker with it, whatever we want to do. Um, because it just encompasses so many topics. So why don't we leave that for now, unless anybody has a last comment. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, we did the meeting day and time already. Uh, the Cherry Hills Land Preserve Trail Walk, that is October 3rd. I personally am gonna be out of town. In the past, we've just, Allison, um, I know I uh, attended one time with my daughter and Allison took care of it at least one year. She literally just sat at a table and then she had a few activities there was a map printed up that had the location of all the um, sculptures. And um, I, I hung out with her at the table for a while with my daughter and what the kids would go by with their parents. And um, we would say, you know, hey, do you, have you noticed all the, you know, the sculptures in town? Have you ever seen this? Have you ever seen that? And they would just come over to the table and go through the map. Maybe that would be, if, if we could not bang them up, and even an opportunity to put out the, po the lovely poster board that you did, Della, again. Yeah. And uh, I thought it was really funny because a lot of the parents actually hadn't seen the sculptures, but the kids would be like, oh, I know that one, I know that one. I think it was the uh, going back and forth with activities and staring out the window and seeing this or that. But, um, and then I think she did little canvases mm -hmm. that she just gave out for free and said, oh, if you um, paint the canvas and turn in a picture of it, we'll put it in the crier. I don't think we ever got any response on that. Yeah, okay. So we could decide that that's just not really something that people are gonna do. Um, I don't know. We so, could, so then this trail walk isn't till 2022? No, it's this October. Oh, 22, you're right. Sorry, that's a mistype. Sorry about that. That's this year, right? This year. Yeah, so it's coming in October. This Meaning, so it's 2021? Yeah, this October. Oh, okay. Because I offered to man the table and when we talked about it before. That's right. So if everyone would, like, if we could come up with some ideas, not necessarily the canvas, but something else, I, I don't mind sitting there and, you know, talking about it. One Have, thing we talked about was possibly having an artist painting in plein air, um, painting, out, like actually painting a painting um, yeah, of the... So that would be cool yeah. if anyone yeah, yeah. 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 to find someone to do we're, that. Well, we're going to nominate Melinda again because she's <laughs> her name has been in this meeting several times. No. Um, Sorry, Melinda. Yeah, um, do you have someone in particular you would yeah, reach out to? For Melinda that, Hamans is, um, that's what she does. She plains in, uh, in plein air. So uh, we could certainly reach yeah. out to her. Yeah. yeah, why don't you guys yeah. reach out to her okay. and we'll keep coordinating okay. with Shenley to let her know like if that's okay. an available thing. Okay. And obviously it's coming up quick. Yeah, <laughs> it is coming so up we'll, quickly. Uh, we'll ask her about that and then too to donate it to, to see if she wants to submit a, a great. watercolor. Yeah, that'd be great. Okay. Okay. Great. Oh, and, and the map, does that map need to be updated or did we do that? We have not updated it since the last so That's two since years old, yeah. Allison yeah. sent. Yeah. But we can work on that. Is I'm that sure something you guys she... can do? I don't want to keep piling. Yeah, or hmm? that's something you could do? Or do you need? Possibly. I have to look at see what program she used. Uh, she just sent me the PDF to print, so. And who, who sent it to you? Allison. Oh, Allison did. Oh, okay. Yeah. All so right, yeah. Why don't you let us know what's, how complex that is. So where, where did you guys set up? 
did you say? Um, that last trail walk. This year it's at Quincy Farm. Oh, yeah, this year it's at Quincy Farm. So wherever they tell us to, basically, oh, oh, okay. they'll have a certain number of participants. And actually, I can't remember if they gave us a table or we had to bring a folding table. I have a good table. Yeah, I was going to say, if you don't, I do too. So, yeah, we just have to find out if we need to bring our own table. But I think um, they just distributed people around a, a, mm -hmm. a walk that they set up. Um, okay. Uh, next item, oh, fundraiser mailing, which we discussed. So I will take a crack at updating the letter. And um, Del is going to try out a window cling, mm -hmm. although so Shenley and I did not have good luck with it. It work on your, it didn't work on your cars, is what you're saying. We just think it's it fell off. It's hot. Yeah. Yeah, we bought a couple and none of, they didn't work. Yeah. They, they um, kind of shriveled up Got and it. they fell off. Oh, Okay. I wonder if you could put it on the inside. Well, I, was it I did that too. Got it's it. the heat kind of yeah. got to it. Got it. Did, what they was our response? Thin, uh, last year was oh yeah, what um, Jessica or Laura, um, the amount that we raised from that fundraiser fundraising letter last year? Do you remember? I thought it was like forty five hundred or something like that. It was like four hundred. About. Uh, I'm gonna. I'll look. Yeah. It was like five thousand. Yeah, something oh. like that. Forty five hundred oh, okay. or five thousand. Yeah. As much as the event. I know, that's the thing. Yeah. <laughs> For a lot less effort, but. <laughs> right, right. And you guys did a great job, by the way. The, everything was wonderful. Oh, so. wonderful. Yeah, all of us, yeah, I think wonderful. everybody. Very yes. Good. Did a lot, of, a lot of nice work. Still enjoying those flowers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The weather was so nice. Mm -hmm. Gosh. Mm hmm. No rain and not blistering hot. That's no. great. So were any city council people? Uh, well, the mayor was there. And, Katie uh, Brown had RSVP'd, but she wasn't there. Yeah, and I think um, Mike Gallagher, who's also on council, donated, but I don't donated. think he actually attended. Yeah. Yeah. Randy Wheel is on council, and he attended. I asked him. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll get to that, because we're going to talk about assignments, so we'll do a better job of reaching out to them. Sorry, did you? I did. Um, Four thousand nine hundred forty-five dollars. Yeah, so oh, that's nearly five thousand. Yeah, yeah. Um, so especially if we could uh, get people excited about the new permanent piece, and and mm -hmm. tell them you know this mm -hmm. is what we're interested in. Yeah, yeah. Um, Who did, did we mail those out? Our same mailing list as the invites. Mm -hmm. If we so didn't broaden the list at all, I thought we. I would have to go back and look. <laughs> yeah, you have to go back and look. Yeah, okay. Good question. Do Dave. we this the liaison roles? Do we do you want to update and add Kristen and I to any of these? Yes, that's yeah, why that's we have why it on the agenda. agenda. Okay. Oh, God. Sorry. Exactly. Sorry. <laughs> exactly. All right. Um, okay. So let's move on then. We already did the snowplow painting program. Okay. So that's where we are now. Liaison assignments. Um, it occurred to me as I was trying to, you know, reach out to people to attend the annual event that we hadn't updated the liaison assignments. Um, so these are the current ones that we have. And as you can see, right, since Allison is no longer on the commission, mm -hmm. um, is this an accurate um, list of the current city council members? Album yes. Still? Okay. Um, so... We need um, one assignment for District 3, Al Blum, and we also, let's see, this art sampler app, I don't know, we, I talked about it with Allison in, in, in the past, but it doesn't seem like anyone was using that app, and wasn't there a end to the subscription we were paying, or what's, what's? Um, it sort of petered out. I haven't even looked at it for quite a while. Right. Um, it ended up being a lot of trouble without much return, it seemed like. Yeah. We didn't get a lot of good feedback on it. Right. So I don't, that doesn't seem like a priority to me. Let's, let's take that off for now. Like in the future, maybe in our future goals, we can discuss any kind of social media or other things we want to do in the future. But for the time being, let's just take that off. So then that also leaves the um, Greenwood Village uh, Curtis Center for the Arts. 
So basically, we have two assignments and two new commissioners. Well, and then, and then Kathy's. Kathy's. Oh, yes, Kathy. You're right. Mm -hmm. So District 5. Oh, you're right. What am I saying? Yep. And Cherry Hills Land Preserve. Okay. Um, so, yeah, so maybe we can have one, each one of you take one of the um, city council members. Sure. Do you know either? Nope. Okay. So I'll take Al. Do you want Dan? Sure. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> sure. And, um, right. And for other, then we have the Cherry Hills Land Preserve and the Greenwood Village Curtis Center. Do either of you guys have any connection to I either I mean, we this? both uh, help out with the, the farm party, mm -hmm. so either of us could do land preserve. Land preserve. Um, either one. Do you want to do the land preserve? I'll do the Greenwood Village. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. See how well we work together? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. So whoever's in charge of Cherry Hills Land Preserve, do you want to call them and ask how the trail walk is going to go at Quincy Farm, just to see if they are allowing tables? Yeah, Rose uh, is, she's not, act, she's not actively involved with the Land Preserve, but she is handling the trail walk. So I'll reach out to both. Just to see that we can have a table? Yep. I think they said that, didn't yeah, you say it was already in the fire that we're a sponsor or something? <laughs> Yeah, but we haven't specifically discussed a table this year, so I think that'd be a good place to start the conversation. Just to yeah, just okay. to make sure. Great. Yeah. Yep. Sounds like they are expecting some. Cool. Um, okay. We went through. And you guys, I'm sorry, but I have to leave. I have to be in the office. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> okay. And we've talked on through meeting. a lot of financial <laughs> updates. So unless anyone has anything about that, we can, I think we can move on. Okay. So let's just. Thank you guys. Yeah. Oh, where's my script? Sorry. I'm just trying to end the meeting. Uh, oh, here it is. Okay. Um, there being no further business, the meeting is adjourned. Thank you, guys.